Hello, my name is Claire. I'm the founder of Student RDH and Smarter DA. I am here today to go over embryology with you. So when I did a um, teleconference with uh, some students at Howard Community College, which I was really happy to meet, we had a question about how do I use the memory techniques that you just talked about, Claire, on um, for embryology, which is you know, I thought a brilliant question because the student is really trying to apply this information to whatever she or he is memorizing. So this is just student RTH website first. I just want to quickly show you that we are in the chapter of embryology and, um, sorry, embryology and histology. Yes. If you can see, I've already done two chapters. This is just a demo account, but I'm just going to go jump into right into what's called the development of the new stages of tooth development, which is what they call about the bud cap bell stage. You probably remember this, but don't really remember what they were about and get confused about. Was it bell stage, bud stage, then cyto differentiation starts. So things like that. And I'm going to just show you using a simple white paper. I just have my Word document open over here. I just want to show you how you can memorize it better. So this is nothing crazy, but let's do it together. So remember the first uh, concept of memorization is, first of all, you're going to look at the image, look at the word, whatever you can do to really observe it. And you are going to substitute that in something else that you know, and then your substitute, and then you are going to connect it with something else. Let's do it together. It's going to make sense as we do it. So I'm just going to take the first step, which is initiation. Nothing much happens other than this thin layer of what they call the dental lamina, which is just a layer. Have you heard this word lamination? When you have a piece of paper, you want to protect it, you laminate it. What do you get at the very end? A thin layer of plastic, right? Same concept, you just get this layer. From this, you're just going to have many different things happening, you know, like this, but we're not there yet. First, initiation is related to this keyword of lamination. No, not lamination, but dental lamina. Number two, butt stage. Now, I just want you to remember that before a rose or whatever flower is created, you're going to have this bud. And I'm not a great drawer, so you just got to have to stick with me with whatever I'm trying to do here. And this is going to go into a flower later, but we're not there yet. We just have a little bud. Yep, rose. Okay, so the bud stage is the germ stage very little thing that just was formed over here this is easy now let's get to the difficult thing which is the cap stage the cap stage is where you have the three layers of the uh, enamel organ dental pupilla and dental sac form the cap stage i want you to see this those three letters three letters this is going to give you a clue that you are going to have three different things happening within the stage. You have the uh, enamel organ forming, you have the dental papilla forming, and you have the dental sac forming, OPS, okay? Like, oops, but instead you're missing an O or however you want to spell it, OPS, oops. So three letters in cap, three things that are going on. Now, for you to remember that OPS, those three different things happen in the cap stage, not in bud, initiation, or bell, or maturation stage, is by doing this. I'm going to draw you my awesome cap. Let's try this. This is tough for me. Okay. Okay, not bad, not bad. All right, what am I going to write inside? You probably have guessed I'm going to write OPS. Now you know for sure enamel organ, dental pupilla, dental sac, they are included in the stage of cap, not bell, not bud. Does this make sense now? We are using everything we can, visualization, you know, stupid oops, kind of mnemonics, and anything we can to really memorize it. Okay, number four. 
we have what's called the bell stage, super important stage. Okay, when I think about bell, I think about a very busy noise. You know, a bell if you're waiting and the train is coming, I mean, it is alerting. You're ready to get busy, get on the train. Or just the sound of it makes you just feel a little anxious because it's a very busy noise. What I'm trying to get at is this stage is busy. There's many different things that are happening. Proliferation, meaning that they are just extensive things going on and there's also cytodifferentiation, which means that the layers are starting to form into specialized layers such as the muscles and nerves and things like that. So cytodifferentiation and proliferation, things are related to the body or the two being busy is related to the bell stage. Does this make sense? I know it's a stretch, but at the end, examination, they don't ask you how you memorize it. All you have to do is know it. As long as you have a memory trick, that's all you need, okay? So we are using that in order for you to be more successful in examination. Now we have the bell stage, we are going to look at the apposition stage, which is really a stage where things are going in different directions because they are laying down different layers. Okay, here, what do I see here? I see this word position. Now position, in um, it kind of uh, reminds me of the word uh, direction, sorry. <laughs> So let's say this tooth bud, hmm. okay, let's just say this is a mandible tooth that is forming under the gum. We're still under the gum, okay? Um, it is going to be it go in many different directions. So the enamel at the very top, you know, here, it's going to go this direction. The dentin here is going to go into this direction. If this was the root, you know, the cementum is going to go they're going to lay down in this direction so many different positions many different directions that the cells are forming to really create this this tooth structure with you know a proper enamel the pulp and the uh, blood vessels inside and all that okay i'm going to stop um, drawing this i think you understand the concept apposition means things are going in many different directions and then what the other thing is you feel like okay what i say about position direction doesn't really make sense why don't you just take the simple words app like apply so you're applying different layers in different directions okay now the last one is maturation maturation is something um rather more simple you just lay grow just let it grow now, okay? So I'm not gonna spend time on talking about the maturation, but what the more important things were, the bud stage, knowing that what happens here is a tooth germ. You have this germ forming. The cap stage, you have three different things, enamel organ, dental papilla, dental sac forming. This was the cap, and remember with this cap. And then in the bell stage, it's busy, the busy bell nose always makes you remember that things like this are going on. In apposition, you can see, okay, I'm gonna apply some different cell layers in many different directions. Now, I hope this makes all sense because when you see a question now saying, okay, when does proliferation happen during the six stages of tooth development. Now you know, you can say, I remember proliferation being busy, so it's gonna be in bell stage. Or if they ask you, this dental sac, where is it forming? I mean, which stage is it involved in? And you can say sac, I remember OPS, you know, S for sac, and that was, I remember that cap, so it's in cap stage. Because I think at the end, butt stage, cap, and bell are very abstract, concept that are difficult to remember so we needed a little bit something to remember those different things and i bet initiation is maturation is easy for you because you know they all make sense now the last thing i want to remember is the different steps so we had initiation we have the butt stage cap stage 
um, bell stage, opposition, and M, maturation. So sometimes they may ask you, what are the uh, six different steps in order? For that, you need to remember those six different steps. How can you do that? If it was me, this is what I would do. I would not even create an acronym. It takes time to create an acronym. So I would do that. Okay, initiation and M, I know it. I know it because it's easy. Maturation, I'm done. But what goes in the middle? I know there are four different things. This is how you do it. A, B, C. C, B, A, B, C in this order, and you put a B here. So it's like hangman, I guess. But you just have to put those letters in order, and now you know. Because in the exam, you know, you have the note function as well that you can use uh, to quickly make some notes. Or, okay, if you really need an acronym, this is what I would do. You take a, each letter and obviously make a word out of it to create a sentence that is funny. You don't need anything boring. Boring doesn't get you anywhere, okay? Funny, this is what we're gonna go to. Okay, do you have a cat? I don't, but a lot of people love cats. Let's do cats today. So I'm gonna say I, B for bath. Okay, the cat, because he or, you know, or she ate the mouth. Uh, the mouse sorry not the mouth so here you have i b c b a m now you have those six different letters that takes you to the different stages okay or you can uh, do another thing which is i b c okay bam i by cat bam anything that you can get to help you remember this is fine again the examination does not know how you memorize it this is your own little trait your teacher doesn't have to know i don't have to know either this is for you i hope this all makes sense so this was just one part of student rdh and i'm just trying to show you how to memorize it because there are so many different things that you have to memorize and for example, let's go to the development of the face. You know, you have so many different arches and upper face and middle face and lower face and many different things you have to remember. So if you can apply those type of memory techniques into everything you do, I bet you will ace your examination. Thank you. My name was Claire. I'm the founder of Student RJ10 Smarter DA. Go rock your exam.